This video is about the DeLonghi Magnifica Evo machine and my thoughts on the machine. I did this video because I watched a lot of other videos and they weren't answering the questions that I was interested in. So once I got it, I decided to make my own video. And this little part here is just a summary of my video because it's quite long as I bumble my way through putting it together. Uh, uh, I've had it a few days now and I absolutely love it. It creates great coffee. I'm a cappuccino drinker and it creates great cappuccinos. I got the one with the milk carafe that froths its own milk. I rate it four out of five stars. The only reason I don't give it five out of five is because the A, the size of the milk Carafe, I would have liked it a bit bigger and B the quick start booklet instruction booklet is all pictures which a lot of them I couldn't make sense of so you know a couple of words along with those pictures would have been really helpful and a lot of the things I bumbled my way through during the setup of the video I found in the full instruction booklet so uh, yeah, if you want to spend the next 22 minutes watching me uh, set up and uh, seeing what I think of each individual feature, then please do. But the machine is great. And the one thing I wanted to know that I wasn't getting information on is the temperature of the coffee. And it's great for me, nice and hot. Okay, very excited to unpack my DeLonghi Magnificent. Magnifica Evo machine. I did a lot of research on what to buy and this one seemed okay. I had to have one with a milk carafe because I don't like doing all the milk frothing and I had a look and this one seemed okay. It's nicely packaged I can see that. Um, Oh, very nice. Very good looking machine. Okay, I've taken off all the packaging except for uh, there's a bit of plastic around the tray here. So this is, I guess, where the coffee pucks come out. And here we have our drip tray. Very nice looking machine, I must say. And the reason I decided to get a new machine is I have a pod machine, um, a, a Seiko Cafetilli or Cafetilli or something like that it's called. And it has its little milk carafe, which is good, and it froths its own milk. And, you know, the quality of the coffee is not too bad. But what I absolutely hate is to get a warm coffee, like decently warm, hot but not burning the mouth not having to put anything cool in a drinkable coffee i have to always fill it with hot water and i get sick of that i just want a one touch thing where i can have the water in the system and press the button now i did a bit of research before i bought this and people said yes the hot coffee was hot enough so i went ahead and purchased it and then I've had some reviews since then saying the coffee isn't hot. So it'll be interesting to see, this will be a test. And I might actually do a side by side with my Seiko and actually measure the temperature. I don't want it burning hot. I just want it, you know, a nice temperature to drink coffee. It's very pretty. Um, seems to be easy to bring down the spout. I believe this is for hot water and it just pulls out like that pushes back in I don't know what that is I guess the only negative I can see so far and I knew this before I purchased it but the ones with the bigger milk crafts were out of my um, capabilities of getting I didn't actually purchase it I got it from flyby points so I did, in a way, buy it, because you can buy other things with your flyby points. But I did use flyby points to get it, so it wasn't given to me. A lot of the reviews I saw on 
YouTube were people who were given the machine for free. Um, so I've got to kind of question that. Not necessarily that it's, um, you know, that they will be biased, but some of them just sort of went really quickly through the machine and didn't tell me the things I wanted to know, like how hot the coffee was, what the coffee tasted like. They didn't do different coffees and things like that. So I'm going to have a play around with it. I do know that the first several coffees won't taste the best. I've heard that with any machine, so I'm prepared for that. Um, but I just want to have a play around with it, see how it goes. I've got different coffee beans that I purchased to try with it. Um, so I'm interested to see how they go. These Makona ones were on sale, they were half price for a kilo. So I thought I'll play with those. I quite like the packet of this one, so I got that DC the Duchess. Um, I've also I've heard that Lavazza and Ilya are very good, so I'm going to try them eventually. But these these I really want to try because oh, they smell divine. It's called um, Cashmere Syrups and Bancroft Roasters. So I got this for free in a pack a box of syrups that I bought, coffee syrups. Um, to try it. and it just smells divine and that was another reason I went wanted to go from the pod Coffee to the bean coffee because these are beans. I desperately want to try because it, it smells delicious um, I'm just a bit concerned because it says chocolate honey and hazelnut the cashmere blend a specialty blend created um, To complement your favorite coffee syrups. I'm just worried that these are one of the flavored beans that you're apparently not supposed to use so in your coffee machines so i'm just um i'm going to research a little bit more before i use it in the delonghi but geez they smell good these ones i can't even smell oh yeah i can smell that a little bit just smells like coffee but these just smell i could eat these these smell delicious so it'll be interesting to see what they taste like now here is your water Thing. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. That is so cute. Tempted to put some goldfish in it. Maybe not. Might affect the taste of the coffee. Eh? <laughs> but it's so cute. And I love the fact that it's on the side so that you don't have to come to the top because this will eventually go under my cabinets. It will just fit under the cabinet. Uh, but there won't be much room to lift things up. This uh, coffee, where you put the coffee in, is all right because you can access that from the side. So that's all good. Um, this is, I guess, the bypass where you put ground coffee in. It's very nice. It's got a plastic thing on it to protect it. It's supposed to take that off. I might leave it on for a while because... Um, I found I left it on my microwave and after about four years it started to go a bit bubbly so I ripped it off and underneath it underneath it looked perfectly new so I might just keep that on for a while I'll think about it anyway so I have filled my water thing almost to the max I'll slide her in there now this will be interesting. We've got a water hardness strip um, that I've got to test the water hardness in. Dip briefly, shake off excess water and compare after one minute. Right. So dip briefly in the water. I don't know how, what they're definition of brief is but that's brief to me shake off the excess and then we've got to leave it a minute and see what happens so it's already starting to change so one red oh my god and then there's all these symbols i have no idea what that means uh less than 4dh to 5dh to c i have no idea i don't know um it's all very good, all very nice, but 
What do you do with it? What does it mean? Test strip for determination of water hardness. So once you've determined your water hardness, so I'm assuming that's just a hardness of one, one red, but I don't know what the greater than four degrees D H slash greater than five, I, I don't know what that means. It doesn't tell you, okay, now, now you've got your results. This is what it's for. Maybe it will in the book. Maybe it will in the book. You know, DeLonghi, one thing I hate are these meaningless pictures. I mean, what does that mean? I have no idea. What does that mean? I don't know. I know what that means and that means, but half of them I have no idea. So, um, you know, some written instructions would be nice. There's some things written here, but there are so many different languages. It ends up just being like one line that says, read the instructions. Well, I would love to read the instructions. However, there are no instructions to read. There are only pictures. Ah, I found the written instructions in a different book. So I'm going to look over these now. Strangely enough, it says the instructions for setting up the appliance is given in the quick guide. That's the one with just the pictures. So, yeah, back to confusion. Uh, Dolongi, if you get people returning things because they've broken it, because they don't understand how to set things up, that's on you. Uh, I'm going to um, see if I know what to do by these pictures. I'm just going to ignore the ones that I don't understand and be that on DeLonghi. But um, from what I can see, you turn the, plug the machine in, which I did. You take the uh, water thing out, fill that up, which I did. You put it back in and there's that thing I don't understand with the warning signs. I've put the spout in like it's asked me to. I've put, I haven't got a long tray, so I've put things under both of them. Because it says, it shows a picture to put a long tray in there. And then press this button, it is flashing. Woo! Scared the cat too. Sorry, Mishka. Okay, water's coming out of there. Obviously doing a little bit of a cleaning and priming the lines and now it's going to prime the coffee lines it hasn't asked me to put in beans in yet so i haven't it's all the lights are flashing there am i supposed to hit one of those buttons no it's got a time time thing so it's going to take some time okay here we come Okay, good. Then we have to get the water fil filter and put that in. Oh god, there's some pictures on the water filter. Ah, oh, that's where the water hardness thing comes into it. Okay. Alright, so it looks like it's done all its priming. Now I'll get my water filter. Oh, what's this little box? Um, oh, descaler too. Nice little prezzy. Okay, so that's the water filter I'm guessing. Now, what it's showing me is I need to change this to my water hardness, which is still only the one pink one. So I'm assuming that's a one. So I'll change that to one. Oh no, it goes to twelve. That only has four. Oh no, it's the month. Damn it! Here I thought I was smart. What month is it? Six. 
Well, almost seven. I'll put it on seven. Nothing about water hardness. No, okay. Alright. Then it looks like I have to fill it up with water. And then put it back into the machine. Alright, you don't need to see all of that. Okay, so now the um, filters in we do another prime by the looks of things so we put that in we put the things under and we hold the on off for five seconds by the looks of things i don't know what the next two three four five i don't know what the next one Oh, hit that one. Then I hit a coffee strength. Then I hit that one again. Then I wait the little time pieces there, meaning that I need to wait for a while. Okay, it seemed I had to hit that um, milk jug button again and then a lot of water came out. And I guess that's just clearing and priming all the things. And then there's a big tick. So I'm assuming I'm right to go now. And I'm assuming that I can make tea if I want hot water. Or we can put the beans in now. So we might put the beans in and make ourselves a coffee okay I've put some beans in um, I'm not gonna fiddle around with the grinder yet because I have no idea what I'm doing um, I'm just gonna try it first now they say the first five or so cups are gonna be horrible so I'm just gonna make a coffee I'm not gonna bother with milk Don't want to waste the milk, but I am a cappuccino or latte girl. But I just want to see how we go. Now that's um, blinking, so does that mean I have to know? Oh, here we go. Oh, hello. Coffee. Steam's coming out, that's a promising sign. I'm assuming it stops itself. Ah, beautiful. And that, no doubt, was the coffee puck being discarded. Okay, I'm just going to discard this coffee because I said that the first several cups are not going to be nice. And I'm going to keep experimenting and then I'll start filming again when I want to do a cappuccino. Okay, I've made four coffees. Now I'm going to make a cappuccino because that's what I like to drink. So this is the real one. Um, I'm still not expecting the taste to be fabulous. What I'm really interested in is what is the temperature of the coffee because the water in that is just tap water. Whereas um, with my uh, Seiko machine, I have to put really hot water in to get a decent coffee. Uh, this is the size of my Seiko milk jug. So I'm very disappointed in the size of this. They could have gone down to the bottom. I know there are um, ones with bigger milk jugs but um, they were out of my flybys points range so let's go cappuccino cappuccino 
Something's gone wrong. What? Got the milk jug in. That solved my problem. Um, what was happening is there was no water left. I did the four coffees and then it wouldn't work anymore, but it didn't tell me I was out of water. Silly machine, silly me. So let's try the cappuccino now. Now that's interesting, it's putting the coffee in first. Um, my other machine puts the milk in first and then the coffee, so I don't know if there will be a difference, but let's see. Now I do believe you can go in and change the temperature of this, but I just wanted to see how it came out of the box. I do have sugar in my coffee. It's funny, the other machine, which is like very cheap machine that I had the pod machine you could see the three layers quite distinctly interesting oh so what it's wanting me to do now I believe is to take that out put that in because my other machine does this too and clean the milk spout because it was blinking there the milk spout yeah what it's doing it's running hot water through just so that you don't have old milk sitting in the spout when you put the milk back in the fridge uh, very good idea so let's put some sugar in here I usually like to put the sugar in first but I'm a little bit couldn't get it working so a little bit of chocolate on top here comes the test. Hmm, that's hot. Hey, fabulous. That was that was my big concern. The coffee's just ordinary, but it could be the type of coffee beans. It could be the fact that I've got it on two. I might put it on three, which is a bit higher. And also it's still the machine still coming in but that that's hot that's what I wanted that's hot so I don't need to actually adjust the temperature and I'm happy with that 